Hi guys, it's Fantasy Lore. Welcome to the second part of my character ranking. So in the previous video, I put Elida in D, Shido Haran and Gareth Blinn in C, Elias, Tam, Cadswain, Aginor, and Galad in B, and Logan at the top of A. So now the next one to rank is Mogidian. The second of the Forsaken to make the list. Um, I think Mogidian is a very interesting character. However, she's not as interesting as some of the other Forsaken. So for that, I'd put her above Gareth Brynn in C. Next, I have Maslum Taim, who's a very interesting character to read about. However, he's very annoying at some points. Um... He, his arc is very cool, and I liked reading about him. So for that, I'm putting him, him in the bottom of A tier. Next, the next to the Forsaken is Glendal. Um, She's very cunning and manipulative, um, and it's very interesting to read about. However, she's probably one of my least favorite of the Forsaken, so I'm putting her after Gareth Brynn in C tier. Next... I have Masana, um, another one of the Forsaken to make my list. Um, she's very interesting. Her arc um, inside the White Tower um, and with the Black Aja is very interesting to read about. So for this, I would put her... Top of C, and I'm going to move Mogidian to bottom of B, just because I liked Mogidian vs. Nynaeve. That was a cool moment to me. Next, we have Semohog. Um, you don't get much from her perspective. However, I thought it was very interesting um, to read about her. Um, when you find out she was um, taking over the Shan Chan and posing as the daughter of the Nine Moons, that was very interesting. Land... Um, versus Semohog was a cool moment, and that's why she gets below Mogidian in B. Next, you have Belal. Um, Belal is a cool character. However, you get so little screen time with him, um, I would put him top of D, just because you get so little with him in the series. Um, next, I have Asmo Asmodian. He is, I say, he is, um, before, um, Aginor in B, because it was cool how Land freed him of his ties to the Shadow and made him help. With learning Sidian, I thought his death was very surprising. And I like how there's the air of mystery um, until the authors revealed that it was Glendal that killed um, Asmodian when she was going to her meeting with Lavin. Um, the next character I have is Hopper. Um, you don't... Um, I would put Hopper in S, just because I love reading about Hopper. He's an amazing character. Hopper's death, final death at midnight, is one of the saddest moments in the entire series. And so for that, I would put him in uh, S tier, but probably the lowest of the S tiers. Um, next... And the final one, probably, for this video will be Balthamo, and I'm going to put him in lowest of C. Actually, no. After Belal, actually, after Glendal in C, just because um, you get some screen time, but... Uh, page time with him, but he is resurrected, so you get more. I just don't think he is as interesting as some of the other characters.